Good morning, we're live, happy Friday, and I'm super excited because I've got a very special woman joining me today. So if you're on the replay, good work on hopping on. It's nice to see you here, type in a little replay. Um, we're gonna give it a moment so that people can find us and join live. So as you are hopping on, say good morning, tell me how you're feeling. Um, I'd love to see you. I'm just gonna bring this up on my phone and then I'm gonna welcome on the gorgeous Michelle. Um, so there's a couple of things that we're gonna be doing today. Um, first, I've got the gorgeous Michelle Wheeler, who I'm going to be interviewing. She's going to be sharing a little bit about growing her group and her own experience, the impact that it's had on her business. Um, I'm also, she she has been in my um, Impact and Income Academy uh, experience, so she's going to share a little bit about that as well, I think. Who knows what she might say, though? <laughs> Um, and then we've got our 10 mini hacks to grow your group because we didn't get to that this week. So I've got those 10 mini hacks that are really fast, quick wins to help you get your group growing. Um, I feel all over the place this morning. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the sunshine or uh, it just feels like it's the weekend. <laughs> Um, anyway, I hope you're really good. Everyone's here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Tracy, I can't see everyone's name still. Sarah, Cordy, Zoe, Sarah, um, Tracy, Nikki, Melly. Amazing to see you all. Right, let me just try and see, try this uh, again, see if it will work this time. Melly, amazing to see you yes. all. Working, perfect. Fabulous. So on that note, I would like to um, welcome onto the stage <laughs> um, the beautiful Michelle Wheeler. I'm going to bring her up and I'm going to get her to tell you all about her business. So I'm going to bring Michelle up. Um, but also in the meantime, let me know how you're feeling in the chat bar. Welcome, Michelle. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, I'm appearing a little foggy on this, aren't I? You're not seeing the texture of my glowy skin. <laughs> well, here I am in the beautiful sunshine, and there you are in the fog. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, Apologies. I don't know why this is. I've tried to play about with it, but it's just not happening. So that's okay. At Maybe least you can hear me. We can see you, we can hear you, and that's the main thing. So, would you like to um, introduce yourself and tell everyone a little bit about you? Right, my name is Michelle Wheeler, and basically, uh, quite a few years ago, we used to manufacture uh, face rounds and do shop fitting, and the market deteriorated, so we had to think quick and diversify, and we started off doing craft shapes. So we cut acrylic, oak, MDF, what women decorate, and sell back on. So I've always had a, uh, I've had a closed group now for, ooh, five, six years. And it was ticking along very nicely, but I do interact a lot in that group. They're an amazing bunch of women, probably quite a few of them on here, to be honest. Um, amazing bunch of women. And I just think that brings my, me closer to my ideal customer. Um, I listen to what they say, which I think is very, very important. Um, and it's just an amazing group. But I've also got a Facebook page, which is predominantly... I, I, have boosts of trying to work it then i stop and it just failed so i did the course with you this one that these ladies are doing and decided at that point when you were the impact academy to join i, th I was worried i was thought oh i've worked with and i'm going to be really honest here claire i hope you don't mind this but i have done this quite a few times before with other coaches they've done the the four days the five days and I thought, ooh, but something, they just didn't give enough. I I don't mean this in a funny way. You give a far lot more than what everybody does in the free course. So it was like there was giving you a little smidgen, wanting you to join the course, but instantly I didn't feel that with you. That's why I chose you. And I have told you this before. Um, it's been absolutely amazing. You ask me because I'm going to take over here if you don't because I do want <laughs> My ladies are on here and they know I ramble, so you stop me and ask me what you want to ask me. Oh, I love it. So, so okay, so you've done this kind of thing before, you've signed up for the free challenges and things, and perhaps loads you didn't of them. Quite get loads as much as you wanted, but you did the Facebook group challenge, and you obviously then decided to join the Impact Academy because of that, which is 
I did. I've loved supporting you in that. But let's just talk a little bit about when you started, when you started to focus on your group, what's been your experience of it growing, of running it? Like how, you know, we've met in person now, which is incredible. And I can see you, you're a people person and you like that connection, right? So how has, how has that impacted your business? Right, so that, and I've got to be really honest here, my customers, I don't lie to anybody, that's the way I am. So basically, uh, I grew my group over 4,000 new members in a matter of weeks since joining your course. Your course has already, within a week and a half, paid for itself, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I'm not going to lie. It, I, I, I worried about the money, and I thought, you know... It, I worried about the money, but thought, no, this feels right. I feel attracted to this lady. I don't mean that, you know what I mean. Attracted <laughs> no, to go with this lady. Um, attracted to go with this lady and 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 just did it and just made a rash decision and just thought, I'm doing this. Didn't tell anybody I was doing it, just did it. And it's the best thing I've ever done. But what it's done, it's, it's I mean, I had my, uh, yesterday, I had my largest day turnover ever. <laughs> ever and I did more in one day than I have done on some full weeks well done that is really a really 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 has impacted but I do spend a lot of time with my customers my social media is so important to me it's so important because because the, a lot of ladies in my group that they're, they're like you know through lockdown we did loads of things together and supported each other and, and that's what it's all about and it's helping other people grow as well isn't it it's quite important to me like you you know we're women we're all a lot of us are mothers grandmothers trying to make a living and it's girl power it's girl, girl power. power it is yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. And I just love I, I love the way that you go about your group. I love the fact that you really are connected in and you really care about these women and you really care about creating that community. And as you say, you you've put in a lot of time and effort, right? And so it's only right that you you get rewarded for it. it, it, it I do. Yeah. I spend fifteen minutes in the morning and fifteen minutes at it on an evening at least going through as many posts as I can it is a very fast group now it's a very, you know I can have 200 odd comments on one post it's a very fast group like yesterday my was one wedding anniversary and there was like 300 nod I will go through every one and say thank you thank you thank you for your message and it, and it is a lot of people don't spend I see a lot of my customers and I look into their groups and I look what they're doing and they're just doing a customer will comment that is lovely and they'll just do a love or a like and and they don't realize that they've got to keep that interaction going and to chat because yeah. that is that is how it goes because it sets the i you call it a ripple i call it a snowball effect yeah. and that and that's the way it is and they don't realize they've just got to keep talking and that the more people the more people that chat the more it's going to grow and that but that's something that you learn isn't it it's something yeah. that's um but it has been amazing, this course. I mean, obviously, I've still not finished with it. We, we had that day in Manchester last week, which was absolutely amazing, sat around the table together. Um, but, um, you know, the rest of the course, and then I just want to know where I'm going from. Yeah, I want another one. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> um, I love it. I just, I love all of it. So massive group growth really made an impact in terms of your massive. business growing. But my main page is now as well. My main page, I've started to get that moving. For I don't know why, because we all know how hard it is for a main page to get it moving. But that is, I'm trying to work on that as well, because I'm thinking, you know what, if it attracts two or three more clients into that group. Yeah. But I will tell you what I did with the fabulous freebie. So what I did, because that is quite important, I think. Yeah. So how I got them into the group was, what I did was I shared on my main page that we have a fabulous community group. If you're looking for inspiration with our products, lots of ladies share their work. Um, I offered a, a free prize of a, a box of acrylic. I, I told them that we do interaction because I do do interaction work, very basic, but I do try and do, you know, chat to people about it. And I have done a couple of lives on it before um, and about growing the group and that we will be carrying on doing things. And I attracted them in that way. And it was literally... A, over 4,000 in, in, within 
few weeks. Boom, boom, boom. I would, boom, I would right. have never thought about doing that. Something yeah. so simple as that. Yeah. I, I would have never thought about doing that if, you know, if uh, you went to put me on to that, really. Yeah. Oh, and we talked about that yesterday, right? So day, day four, was it yesterday? No, it was day three, wasn't it? Day three, we were talking about yeah. the fabulous freebie. And there were actually a few people who posted in the group saying, wow, like I've done this and I'm already seeing results from it. And so I, I love that you just shared that. Michelle, because I think, you know, sometimes people think, oh, and they hold themselves back from doing that freebie and putting it out there, but it really can make such a big impact. It, it, it does, it does, it definitely does. It's, um, that was that, that was the main pointer. That's where it's kicking, and I can tell you that, hand on the heart. I mean, don't get me wrong, I provide good products and I've got a, and a brilliant, amazing relationship with my customers, but that just sent it over the edge by inviting those people that perhaps I was dormant to um, for so, so long that have come in there. Somebody shows an item that they've made. Everybody goes mad on it. And it, obviously it boosts my sales. Yeah, of course. It boosts yeah. my sales. And I'm not going to lie, while I've got an amazing group and they're all fabulous and we chat, and we don't only chat about work, we chat about all sorts. But um it is a connection. It's a connection. It's like me working with you, and it's like me working with my customers. If you've got a connection with somebody, you relate to somebody, you get on with somebody, I'm going to spend my money with you because of the relationship we've got. Like, they're going to spend their money with me because of the relationship. And that's how it is. It, all, it is all about the person being real, being honest. I once sit, sit, sat and did a live. I could see they were all fed up. I did a live. And I didn't realise while three quarters of the way through, I was sat in pyjamas on a floor because my phone was going flat and I got no bra on. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Let me turn, let me shut my door. We've got some noise in the background, Claire. <laughs> so my next door neighbours just started mowing their garden. How rude! Yeah. Don't you know we're live? <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry about that. Um, that. That's very funny. So yeah, and again, I love that you share that because I think it's so important to be real, be authentic, allow that's it to what people want. And, yeah. to, and to remember that people like people buy you for you, and and that's when. You obviously know this, Michelle, but you know everyone here. We, I talk a lot about the soul client and the fact that your soul client loves you for who you are, and you're going to feel that natural connection. And that's yeah. what you're sharing, like the fact that you just show up. You're real. You're honest. Yeah. It's like, hey, this is me, and people obviously love you for that. And it, and that's helped you grow a group, build this epic community, and build your business um, yeah. because of that, Definitely. right? Definitely. Yeah, I love it. So, what if so for people who are either just starting their group or who have had a group for a little while and but it hasn't kind of taken off in the way that you want it to? Um, have you got any advice that you would give? Yes, yes. So basically, it, it all goes back. My findings are, and I don't know about yours, Claire, but my findings are the more people. So, so if I do a post and people comment and I reply back to every comment and I can see for a fact, apart from there will be people sharing my name and I know there is a lot of my customers tag the name in, can you quality products work and they tag me in. But it, it, it's all about what I found is my group is seen more by just the general people in my industry. It's to do with the commenting and the pushing and the, yeah. the interaction. It is all about if, if, Somebody says to somebody says to um, me, "Oh, that's uh, I've got my order. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much." I will always reply. It is constant communication, and you, and people just a like or a love isn't just going to cut it. They've got to be on the ball yeah. constantly, chatting, keeping that conversation going, and that also sets the algorithms for the, for the closed group to be seen even more. Yeah, so it's, take, so basically, it's taking yeah. time to care about the business that you're building, to connect with your customers, your clients, to not just Correct. kind of think, oh, I'm, you know, I, I, I'll quickly drop that in or give it a little love heart. It's actually taking the time to stop, to comment, to give it that little bit more magic. But as a result of doing that, which let's be honest, isn't isn't hard. It, it takes uh, it, it means you need to be a bit purposeful around it, but it's not necessarily hard. You obviously believe that it's worth doing that for the difference it makes. 
beyond a shadow of a doubt, there is another little snippet I want to share. So, so basically as well, when doing a post, and, and bearing in mind, I have done this for all you ladies that are thinking, yeah, but I haven't got a group like that. I started off at nothing. What is so, what is so important as well is how you word the product or the service that you're showing. Now, I've been there where nobody's commented. Nobody's commented for weeks on, on my main page. Not so much in my group now, but in my main page. You have you have just got to keep going. If you're in a closed group and nobody's responding, you have got to keep going and going. But what I've found as well is, if you ask a leading question, like for example, say somebody does, oh, I'll just use one of my products, for example. These look amazing, don't they? Which is yeah. asking people to comment, to generate. And in which case, every person that comments, you've got to comment back. And that that's the only thing that boosts groups. Exactly. It creates that engagement, doesn't it? Oh, so. and, and again, we talked about this on day two. I think we were talking about engagement posts and creating engagement so that people comment and you comment back and how that really does bring the group to life. And I also love, Michelle, that you shared there that, you know, when you are starting a group, sometimes it, sometimes it can take a bit before people start that commenting. Yes. It can feel like you're speaking to yourself and you're going to yourself. And you do, have, like, if you keep going, you will absolutely I, get there yes, without it works. Yeah. Yeah, it work. And the thing is, if you've got a close, and even if it, say, for example, it's not working, just get one of your family members in there, get one of your friends in there to comment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just to comment to boost it up. And then people get to the stage where once they know you're a little bit more, they feel comfortable in commenting. Yeah, exactly. Some exactly. people just sit on the sidelines. I've got so many ladies that say, I don't interact, I just sit on the sidelines. But they might not see the majority of my posts. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I, I normally talk about this, and I haven't actually this in the challenge this time. Like I talk about lurkers, um, and I can say that with love because I'm sometimes a lurker in people's groups. I'm sometimes kind of the lurker who sits back and I don't interact very much, maybe because I'm I tune in when I'm driving and doing things, so it's not really I can't really kind of uh, kind of talk. But I think it is important for people to recognise that you almost have like three lots of people within your group. You have your almost like um, like superstar clients or customers or kind of group members who are like there all the time, right? They're really engaged and they comment on everything and they're incredible. Then you have your people who are definitely part of the group and they watch it and they engage in things, but they're kind of in and out, you know, sometimes there, sometimes not. And then you have your lurkers who are there and they consume the stuff. So they watch, they watch what's happening, but they don't necessarily comment. I know there'll be people watching this, um, whether they're live or on the replay, who are lurkers. And, and I can say that with love because I, I have been a lurker many times. And I think that that's important to remember, as you say, when you're growing your group and when you're showing up, because sometimes it's easy to think, oh, no one's commenting, no one's saying anything, no one's taking any notice, but people are watching. Uh, someone says here, oh, uh, Kat Jane, Kat Jane, oh, I hope I said your name right, I'm sorry. Uh, Michelle Wheeler, I'm one of your lurkers half of the time, she says, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, so Michelle Wheeler, she says, lurker here. Um, that's <laughs> So yes, yeah, so it's really important to remember yeah. that. But, yeah. The thing is, and, and every you know, not everybody wants to comment, and everybody, and that, that's absolutely fine. But the thing is, sometimes they're not going to see everything. You interact more with the people that that are are interacting with you, yeah. um, and they get to see more than. I don't like to call them lurkers, but but yeah, that's <laughs> it's, it's a label with love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's not a yeah. Um, but that's fine. Everybody's different. Not everybody wants to chat. Not everybody's got the time to chat, have they? Yeah. No, Not exactly. Everybody. Exactly. Or you or you know, you might be listening to it when you're out for the walk or in the background with the kids or Perhaps when you're driving, I quite often listen to things when I'm driving, so it's short and I'm not watching it. I'm just kind of listening to it. Um, so yeah, definitely. I love I love all the things that you shared there. I think that that's so so useful. I wonder has anyone got a question for Michelle that you want to pop in? Because this would be a great time if you've got a question. Um, Isla says, I think you say it's well, I say her name, Isla. Hi Michelle, watch your group could listen to your voice all day. I said on Friday, <laughs> didn't know that you had one. <laughs> Do, do you know, I go on live, I, 
I used to do it quite regularly. I do it at miss now, but I go on live and they say, oh, I could listen to And I'm like, I, I sound really rough. I thought no, I was thinking a terrible you voice. Rough you don't sound rough at all. I, I like your voice. Like I was saying, it's like, um, I, I was joking. So we did a VIP in person day on Friday for people who are wondering what, what on earth we're talking about, why we met up on Friday. Um, and I said to Michelle um, that I, I made a joke about when I get a cold, you know how after you get a cold, your voice goes a bit husky. And I always like it because I'm always like, yeah, like how sexy voice is always working. And Michelle's got a slightly husky voice that I think is very sexy. <laughs> um, so we were joking about that on Friday, weren't we? Yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, it's warm and lovely is what everyone's saying. <laughs> oh, um, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. That's amazing. There you go. I really enjoyed this. I could do this every week. I know. It's fun, right? <laughs> uh, we've got someone saying, uh, this is Kurt K- 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 Jane. Hold on. Let me let me look a bit closer if you haven't Catty Jane, if Catty Jane, if I'm saying your name wrong, I apologise hugely. Um, so she's popped in a post that says, "Most of the time, I'm lurking. Um, I go back and check the post. I wouldn't be on this live otherwise. Thank you. Started the course last night, and my PMA has changed overnight. Whoop whoop, that's mm. awesome. Really good. Um, there's lots of lovely comments about you here, Michelle. I don't know if you can see them or not. But I can't. Are. I can't. I will go and have a look. But any yeah, of exactly. the ladies that are in here or anybody else, on, you know, I, I've tried to look at a few posts on this and I've thought I, I will sit and have a look. And if I can help anybody, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to. Yeah. A lot of my ladies have said, what, you know, what would you do about this? And I'm saying, and just because some people, it just take a, a bit of getting used to. It does. It uh, but it is something that's got to be done and, and there will have been people started it and thought, so I didn't want any of my ladies to have started with you like that and said, oh, I'm just a bit of a loss. So I sort of like said, if, if anybody needs me, just give me a shout and yeah. I'll tell you what I think. But yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, I love it. <laughs> I love it. So, there, so there, are, there are lots of lovely comments. Um, I don't think I'm trying to kind of keep a look out, see if there's a question going, which is why my focus is split. I'm like half listening to you and half looking for a comment. I don't think I've seen any uh, questions specifically come through, though. Um, but I think that you've shared some really important points there, Michelle. Obviously, you're passionate about growing your group. It is about showing up anyway, even before anyone else is looking, watching, or you feel like they are, you continue going, your group will start growing, you'll start to get that engagement. And that's how you get to that point where you've got a big, beautiful community. And it really does make a big impact on your business, right? Because this is how people see you, it's how they connect with you. Uh, When people feel connected, they're so much more likely to buy. And I really believe that it means that we can build our business for businesses from a place of, of leaning towards our values which i think is important you know like connection and making a difference and showing up and helping and doing all of those things i think is essential i think that when we're building businesses that way heart-centered businesses essentially like we actually wake up loving what we do and how you know i know that that's important for me and i think that that's the same oh oh, i I love coming to work i i absolutely adore it i mean i've told you i i know i shouldn't and but i do work seven days a week and i have done for quite a years now um I, I just yeah i mean through lockdown i was just constantly living here because i thought well i might as well be at work than be sat at home and i just mm-hmm. carried on and carried on but i i love coming to work in the morning i love the buzz yeah it's amazing and it's even got past and i i think now because i feel like i'm obviously everybody wants to grow a little bit more but i really feel as though i've got this now yeah it's really like i've got this now um and to help other people on this is is would just you know helping my customers with this this is why i I sent them in here and there's absolutely hundreds that said oh we're too late now do you know what i mean but your next one i need to yeah absolutely absolutely so we've got a couple of questions now so first question what's your number one tip for mindset so michelle as you've been doing this as you've grown your group growing your business what's your number one tip for mindset 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 well i've i have done quite a lot of mindset work as 
she might be a customer of mine that knows uh, I do share motivational posts. Mindset work for this is you've just got to keep going. You've got to stay positive. You will have days that are shocking and you think it's the end of the earth, that things are going to go wrong. You've just got to keep going. You've yeah. just got to keep going. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to keep saying, and I'll tell you what I do do, and you might think I'm absolutely crackers. So there's a song called Let's Go. Let's go. And it's a motivational song. It's a bit, it's a bit for 58, it's a little bit young for me. I play that every morning at six o'clock. Nah. Kelvin, I put that on every morning. Calvin Harris, six o'clock. I blast it up. Nobody's in here. I blast it up. That sets me off. My, you've got to have that thing in the morning yeah. Yeah. that focuses you for the rest of the day. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Tony Robbins would call that an anchor. You anchor in the good right. vibes before you get yourself going. Yeah. yeah. But I think I think that that's a great tip. I think, you know, music, affirmations, self-talk and remembering that it's not just it's not an easy journey otherwise everyone would do it but it's so rewarding right it's rewarding and it's worth yeah. I'm sure everyone's here has seen that little graph about like the entrepreneur's journey that kind of goes like that right and I think it does feel like that sometimes so I think mindset in terms of like number one mindset tip I would just say that my number one mindset tip is make time to work on your mindset because it's such an important part of, of growing a business. And and I love that idea, Michelle. So uh, everyone's going to be going and like downloading that tune now. Yeah, that's <laughs> just what works, that what works for me because I can carry on working. It's on. I might have a little bit of dance about. I mean, yeah. well, somebody film me. Like, but but that's that's what just does it for me. Certain key songs for me. It's yeah. what I do. I agree. I love it. Right, I've got another question here from Melanie. Just wondering whether you post the same content on your Facebook business page and your group, or if you keep the content different for mixed match. I will put more in my group, but wondered whether to add my Facebook page content in there too. Right. So that's what I'm just starting with now. Because what's happened is my group, my group's grown that big now, and the interaction in there is perfect. I thought to myself, right, I know there's not a lot of people going to see it, but I'm going to twist it over to my page. So for, for I would good say for a good year i have never shown any items on my main page right. so i've i've just started doing that and then i'm just braving i'm just braving believe it or not i have a terrible i'm, I'm fine on a live but photos and things like that i need to share the content of who i am what i am on my main page and that is on my mission state i've got a little mission statement That's and it, yeah and and i I either do it in a post-it note or I, I do it in my in a diary. But I've got I get to a stage where I've got that many diaries. I don't know where I am, so I'm I'm liking this post-it note bit to remind me every day. And that's my next plan to go right. and actually do some fit some photos and to say what I'm about and to try and build that uh, who I am on there as well and perhaps do a live on there. But that is really taking me out of my comfort zone. But I will do it. Yeah, yeah, awesome. And I, I would just add on to that, Melanie. I would say, yes, you can definitely use the same content awesome. and a bit, yeah. bit more in your group. So, like, a bit more of that community stuff in your group, but you can still use your posts on your business page. Sure. But just tweak it a little bit, different image on it, different title, and, and share it on a different day. So, don't share it in both. The same day. Yeah. yeah. One of the things that look really spammy that people do sometimes is they'll write one post with one image and they'll put it on their business page, they'll put it in their group. They'll put it in a couple of groups they're allowed to post in. And if someone follows all those places, they see the same thing go boom, 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 boom. And that that doesn't look great. So um, mix and match it up. That's that's what I would Yeah, do. yeah, yeah. Um, we have, oh, so next person. I'm sorry, it's not showing your name. So I'm not being rude, but it's not showing your name. Um, do you have, so do you have two groups, one for paying clients like membership community and one for people to join before they buy your course? Is, that might be a question for me, I'm, I'm guessing. I, yeah, so I do. I have my big, I have a couple of groups actually. I have my big Facebook group, which is called She Impacts the World. Um, and that's got about 18, 19,000 women in there. I have pop-up groups that I use for these little um, these little um, challenges and then I have groups for the people in my programs and I have individual groups so when you join one of my programs you're in a small group just for um, just for that program so that you get that kind of specific support and community and get to know people is that I'm not sure if that 
questions relevant for what you do, Michelle? Do you just have your main group? I've got a page and then I've got a closed group. Yeah, yeah closed group with just, yeah. a, and basically I'm advertising on there or showing what I've added because mm -hmm. I've got a website. So people go to the website to order from me. Yeah. Uh, but I'm showing them any new products, asking what they want. Uh, they might say, oh, can you do anything? You know, that kind of thing in my, in my group. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So next question, and I think we'll, we'll both answer this one as well. Um, when you don't get any comments, how do you keep going? I get so disheartened when no one comments. We kind of said a bit about that, but what keeps you going? Well, because you want to succeed. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you, you just want to succeed. But it's how also I would say as well, if you, if you, if you just put in, I don't know what you do, whether it's a product or a service, but, but, like I said before, start with answer some kind of leading questions. Get the per, get the the in. If it's a product you're selling, I would say, does anybody like like this at the end, or yeah. what's your what's your thoughts on this? I love this. What's your thoughts on this? To get them commenting. Yeah. But you, you you, we all started there where we had no comments. We all started there where we had nothing whatsoever, and. Some people at that point, and this is where your mindset comes into it, some people at that point will just give up, forget it. But but you can't expect everybody just to go, to go in and just comment, comment, comment. You've got to start somewhere. Exactly. We've all, we've all got to start somewhere. But So I would keep going and going and let them know. If, if it's a product, I've always found as well that, um, and I... I it's just something I've learned. You don't always show a product. You've got to interact with people in a different way. A positive post. Um, I, I always look on what what date is. So the, the, the special days. So one date might be the other date was it was photo day. Leading posts like that. Yeah. And, and my customers have also now began to share interaction posts they found to help others. Exactly. Exactly. Awesome. And I would agree. Keep on going. Have different things that you're putting in your post. So it's not just the same thing that you're doing all the time. And remember your why. Like your why should be so, you should feel so like called by your why that it pulls you forward. So it's like, I'm, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And that's where, as you say, mindset work is so, so, so important. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, Michelle, if I think you've shared tons today, thank you, because I think you've given lots of tips, lo lots of great advice. I think that it will be really inspiring for other women, like hearing from you and knowing that, you know, you grew your group so quickly. You've got such an incredible group that it's really made that impact in your business. Um, just because I know that there's some women here who are thinking about maybe joining the academy, but they're perhaps a little bit scared. And like, what's your experience of the academy been? And if you were just sharing anything around that, what would you say? Oh, the academy has been amazing. I've picked up so much from the academy, extra to this. It's absolutely amazing. Um, we, we, do a, a live as you know we've do we've done some mindset work in there it's just been a massive massive it's made a massive impact on my business it's um just learning the further bits just learning the further bits and the more you work more, the more i've worked with you the more your mindset grows the more because basically it is believing you can do something the mindset's grown the, and, it, and it's escalated into the snowball effect of then to the turnover does that make sense or is that yeah and that's exactly yeah. what I like we build a business from the inside out it's by shifting like our inner beliefs and world to that place of believing we can do it and then and then that leading on to the action and it, and it kind of creating this effect from the inside out to really grow the business and get the results so yeah I think that that's um, yeah my glass always used to be as my husband said to me my glass was always a half empty now my it's now awful yeah because i was a, a bit of a negative anne a bit of a you know but in all aspects of my life it's completely changed the way i where i go yeah 
Yeah, amazing, beautiful. And it's been amazing having you in the academy. The academy that you're in hasn't finished yet. We're still going. Um, so yeah, ready for the next one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and it just like one of the questions that I get a lot is how how long will it take before I start seeing results? And I think that you're a great example. Oh, you start seeing results weeks. really fast, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, really fast. And they're still flying in, still, still flying in. Yeah, amazing. I'm going to repeat. I'm going to leave it another couple of weeks, and then going to repeat what I did the first time. You yeah. know, leave it a little bit of time, trying to try and build my page up as well. Because I think, why not? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Go for goals. Um, I love it. Michelle, thank you so much for joining That's us this morning. Right, I think you've brought brilliant value with you. I think you've shared so much, loads of tips, loads of passion, loads of enthusiasm. And I think that, yeah, you, I think, yeah, really appreciate that, you, that you've come and shared um, all of that with everyone. So Can I just say, Claire, that if any of these ladies are on, sitting on the fence, because I did sit on the fence for well, probably an hour, <laughs> but, <laughs> because I knew. But if anybody is sitting on the fence, I can honestly tell you it will be the best money you ever spend. It really, really will. It, 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 it's not only impacted my business, it's impacted my life and, and the whole way around it. It will really, if anybody is sat on the fence, think about it. And if anybody is sat on the fence thinking about it and wants to inbox me and ask me, that's absolutely fine. Not a problem. Oh, thank you. That's really not a problem. Oh, Michelle, love his pieces. Thank you so much for coming here today. I'm gonna. So we're gonna say goodbye to Michelle, but everyone else, stay here because I've got the ten mini group growth hacks that we're about to jump into. So, Michelle, I think what would be great is if you want to share. Um, I can't actually put it in when we're live here, but if you want to share your um, group or your page so people can come and find you, because I'm sure that there are people who would love to, um, maybe here in the group, then that would yeah, be great. That's fine. Can, just yeah. Be in. Right, let's say bye to Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Go and have an amazing See day. Later. Thank Thanks. you. It would be bye. lovely to speak to you all. Bye-bye. Okay, so everyone else, stay where you are because we haven't finished just yet because um, we have got our 10 mini group growth hacks to dive into. Um, Melanie says, amazing, what a lovely testimonial, so grateful for your time. It was, yeah. Um, uh, Rene, love that, sitting on the fence for an hour. <laughs> I know, so funny. Expected a week, love it. Um, Nikki also says, Nikki, gorgeous. Uh, she says, it's brilliant, one of the best courses I've ever done, just done it. Uh, just do it, sorry. Um, Nikki's been one in, in my academy as well, incredible woman. Um, okay, so, 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 I'm going to open my door again now because I believe that they've stopped with the lawnmower and then we'll dive into our 10th group work hats. Um, Whew. The weather, it's, it's, I feel a bit weird actually teaching you when it's sitting down. I'm normally standing upright. Um, you're a customer, Michelle, so happy for her. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so um, I think it was on Wednesday that I said I was going to share with you the mini group growth hacks. So we're going to do that now. Just before we do, I want to take you through a quick reminder of what is still to come because there's still some awesome things to happen as part of this challenge. So first thing is... Tonight, seven o'clock, I'm going to be live and we're going to do a little celebration time. So you can grab a glass of wine or a glass of juice, whatever floats your boat. Um, and we're going to celebrate your wins. We're going to talk about your achievements. We're going to talk about the actions that you've taken this week, um, all of that. So we're going to have a little like celebration for the fact that you've really shown up and taken action on all of this. But we're also going to do Q&A. So any questions that you've got. So I've, I noticed there were a few questions that I haven't answered higher in this thread. Bring them to the live tonight and I'm, I'm going to sit there on my sofa with a small glass of wine <laughs> um, and I'm going to answer all the questions. So that's going to happen in here seven o'clock tonight. On um, Sunday, you're going to see a post drop into the group that you need to add your name to if you've liked each video, commented on each video, done the daily task so that you're basically in to win the competition. So you need to look out for that, it's going to be dropping into the group. And on Monday, I'm going to be pulling names out of the hat for the winner of some of my programs. Um, <laughs> what's a small glass? I love it. Claire, when should we open your group up? Tracy, 
do it now if you've got your banner sorted you've got your about bit sorted i'll be honest this i feel like there's so much more that i would love to share with you around this because there's obviously other bits that we haven't got to right but i'm also aware that we've done like five hours already this week <laughs> and we've got our master class on monday so um if you haven't yet opened up your group go for it take the leap do it few things to think about are set up the group rules so go into settings of your group and just make sure you've got that set up in a way that you're happy with I would love to go into it in more detail um but I feel like though I mean this is like this is the truth I will show up and I will give you as much as I can this week but the truth is like I would really love to support you in the academy because it's in the academy that we can go deeper it's that I can teach you everything and give you it all like there's the time for us to go deep for us to cover everything we can do the mindset work we can do the strategy we, like it's and and that's why essentially I show up this week because I want to give you as much as I can but also it's a business and I want you to take that next step into the academy because I know without a shadow of a doubt that the academy is the place where you get everything that you need so that you can be making those first five to ten k months sooner rather than later so um go open up the group and then of course the other thing i need to tell you is monday masterclass 10 30 do we cover funnels in the academy yes we talk about funnels in the academy martyr um i literally give you everything we do it all we do the whole shebang i teach i i basically in the academy i teach you everything that i have done in my own business to build it to multiple six figures um, and we're now on the way to grow into seven figures so i'm going to teach you everything that you need in order to do that no holds barred basically i give you it all um so it's there's so much you get there's an incredible amount of training and we go deep on all of it and you get support and there's mindset support and like there's literally everything everything you possibly need i created the academy I know I'm going off track a minute, just bear with me. <laughs> We're going to get to the 10 group growth hacks, but I just want to share this with you because it's actually really important. When I looked at, at creating this academy, I basically asked myself, what did I need at the beginning to grow my own business for those first five to 10K months? What is the program and the support that I wish I'd had, that I was missing? And to be honest, at the time when I was setting up my own business, I felt like I had to compromise. I could either get mindset support or I could get business support. When I had mindset support, I felt like I was lost in the action, but I felt in a good place. When I got business support, I felt like I knew what to do, but I was panicking about it. So I felt like I needed both. And I believe I have the perfect skill set to bring together both. So when I created the academy, I literally went, what, what would be the perfect thing that I needed desperately at that time that I felt like I couldn't really get? And so I've put everything together into this container so that you have the support, you have the training, you have the mindset work, you have the strategy, I give you the tools, we go deep into every single part of it. Um, Alan Sugar should be nervous with us, all of us powerful women. Yes, Tracy, I agree. Um, Elizabeth, you've given so much already, Claire. I've learned so much already. Thank you. So looking forward to the Academy. Lisa's in the Academy. Lisa? Elizabeth's in the Academy. I'm super excited as well, Elizabeth. You're going to love it. And there's some awesome women joining you, by the way. So if you are on the fence about the Academy, get off the fence, come and join us. Literally, it's going to be the best thing that you have ever done for yourself, for your business. I'm going to be teaching you everything that you need. And there's all the support there to make sure that you're implementing this, that you're moving forward with this, and that you're seeing your business grow. Because every single one of you here, you deserve to see the results. You deserve to be making the money. You deserve to be making the impact. You deserve to be waking up every single day excited to be working on your business, growing your business on your terms. So on that note, now you know what's happening and I've had my little like rant again about the academy because I am really passionate about it and I know that it's exactly the thing so many women need. Um, let's go to our 10 mini group growth hacks. Are you ready? Give me a little yes. Let me have a sip of coffee and then we're going to dive into this. So mini group growth hacks. Number one, 
is link your group to your business page. Yeah, see you already. Link your group to your business page. So really simple, not too difficult. The way that you link your group to your business page is inside your group. So you'll go inside your group, you'll go to the settings, and inside the settings, there is an option to link it to your business page. I suggest that every single one of you do that because when your group is linked to your page, it will show up on your business page. So if your, uh, your customers, your clients, your community are already following you on a business page, they're going to start seeing your group pop up on your business page so that they can join. So really easy way to get your group seen more, link it to your business page. You do that inside the group, inside settings. Okay, so that's the first one. Nice, simple, easy. It's going to take you about two minutes and it's going to make a difference. It's absolutely worth doing. Second one, number two, I don't know anything about the online stuff. I'm the oldest here, most probably. Elizabeth, I bet you're not. <laughs> and don't worry, like the thing is, I've got you, we'll go through all of this. I'm going to teach you it all. Um, so the, the link in the bit, if you're if you really struggle with tech, I, I still think you're gonna be able to do it. You'll manage. Um, so number two is promote your group on other social media platforms. So one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make, right, is they start their group and then they only show up in their group. Because the truth is people like, like it's easy to fall in love with your group because you're going to find it's this little community. It feels safe. It feels secure. Like it feels connected in. And so what can happen sometimes is people forget about the outside world and they just show up in their group. Now, the problem with that is it's a little bit like having a house party. Only the people in the house know it's happening, especially if like the windows are closed, doors closed, no one can see. No one, there might be so many people who want to join that party, but they don't know about it. So we need to make sure that while you're growing your group, you keep on showing up on your business page, on your profile page, wherever else you post and share, and tell people about the group, promote the group on all those places. So for example, on your personal profile this week, you could write a little post saying, woohoo, I have finally set up a Facebook group. I'm really excited about creating this space um, for people who, blah, 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 here's the link, come and join us, you know? So just little things like that, posting it, dropping it in, things like this week in my group, we're talking about X, Y, and Z. I'd love for you to come and join us. Here's the link. So it's not complicated. It's easy, it's simple, but you need to remember to actually do it. Otherwise you'll wonder why no one's joining your group. So promote your group on other social media platforms. That's number two. Number three is link. So if you have a website and not all of you will have a website and the truth is you don't need a website. I grew my own business to six figures with no website. So don't be thinking, oh my goodness, I've got to have a website now. No, you don't. Um, but if you do have a website, then have a link to your group on the navigation bar of your website. Literally have it there. So when people see your website, they see that you have this group and they can go and join the group because you want it to be like a really crisp, clear call to action. For you. So actually use that on your website. <clears throat> Number four, are you still with me? Yeah, you literally did that earlier. Well done, Tracy. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> pen at the ready and good, good work. Um, so number four is, we talked about your freebie. You, some of you might have other freebies that you're already using, right? If you have freebies that you share outside of your group, that you build your email list with, or that you share on your business page, or anywhere else, make sure you always have a link um, to actually when I, when I wrote this I'm thinking about the technical way that I teach in the academy but um when make sure you have a, a something at the bottom that says come and join my group right basically on PSs I've not really talked about this this week this is another thing that I haven't had time to go into but when you're posting have a PS have a call to action a call to action basically says if you like enjoyed this little post or whatever come and do this so your little ps on lots of your posts can be like 
Have you joined the Facebook group yet? And tell people why, what's in it for them. So make sure you're using it as a PS, um, not just on your post, but on any other value-driven content that you're putting out there on the internet. You could have it, those of you who send emails, whether you use an email system or not, you could have it in the bottom. You know how you can put your signature into the bottom of emails? You could have it as part of your like signature that goes down there. Um, so you tell people, I've got this, this freebie or I've got this Facebook group, and one or, or the other will lead to your group. So think about how you're utilizing the signatures on your emails, but also as a PS on your emails. PS, have you come and joined the Facebook group yet? We do X, Y, and Z in it. Um, so really think about how you're using those calls to action, those PSs um, in your posts and on your emails, etc. Um, there was a couple of numbers in that. So that's led me to number, I'm now on number seven because I jumbled all of those up. So number four was uh, have it as a thank you on your freebies. If you've got a funnel, those of you who do have a funnel and you know what I'm talking about, on the thank you page, you need a link to your group. Number five was have it as a PS on your emails um, or in the signature of your emails. Number six was have it as a call to action on your posts. Um, you, I missed the freebie. My phone died, and I can't remember which live it was. It was, it was Wednesday. It was day three. So go back and you and do day three. Uh, number seven is ask for email addresses in the joining questions. So we haven't really talked about joining questions in your group. When you set your group up, if you go into settings, you can have questions that you ask people before they go into your group. You will all ask some questions before you join this group. Some of you answered them, some of you didn't, <laughs> which is fine. So I would definitely recommend setting up those joining questions. And I would, if you have an email list, I would absolutely recommend having one of those questions asking for people's email so that you can either email them the freebie that you've created um, or you can add them to the mailing list or something else. So definitely get people's email addresses because that means you can start building an email list. And that's a really good idea to do when it comes to social media. So growing an email list is great. Use your joining questions to get people's emails so that you can add them to your list so that you can continue to kind of contact them outside of the group. So it's another point of contact. The other thing to think about those joining questions is, um, what can you learn about the people joining your group? So ask them, what drew you to the group? Or where did you hear about it? What's your email so I can send you a freebie or add you to the mailing list? And um, what would you like to gain from this group? Because it's giving you insight into your clients. You, you're going to start understanding, oh, like this is what they want to see and this is what they, they're going to engage in. So that was number um, seven. Number eight is promote something exciting happening in your group. Um, so with this one, how many of you have used Facebook events? So on Facebook, you can set up an event. You can set up an event from your business page. You can set up an event from your profile page. And you can invite all your friends or all the people on your business page to the event. Now, this is a great way to start spreading word of mouth if you're going to do something specific in your group. Now, this means being a bit brave. Some of you will be up for doing Facebook Lives, and we haven't talked about Facebook Lives very much this week. Um, but if you're up for doing Facebook Lives, this is perfect. If you're a bit scared of Lives, don't worry, we'll get you there. So doing an event can be a brilliant way to get people to join your group because you create the event on Facebook and you tell people that it's happening inside your group. So to come to the event, and the event might be a little masterclass, it might be a Q&A session, something of value to your sole clients, it means that they have to join the group in order to attend the event. So that's a great way 
to let people know that you're already connected to that this event is happening. And of course, you can always ask them to share it with their family and friends as well. Yeah, like a boot camp, it could, like a boot camp, it could like a training session. Um, it could be a little like, you know, it could be like a little meditation. It could be a mini exercise class. It could be a little crafting session. It could be a mini coaching session, any of those kind of things like that. So it's something of value that the people in your group will enjoy and you would set it up as an event so that you can invite people in. That's going to help you grow your group. Number nine is use the invite button in your group. So in your group over on the right hand page, you will have a little invite button and you can click that. You can tick people's names in there and you can add in a little message. I would definitely write in a message, make it a bit personal, like, hey, I'm inviting you to my group because I thought you might really enjoy the fact that I'm sharing this, this and this in it. Um, please, like, would love you all to would love you to also share this with others. So do use that invite button. Don't be scared. I know it can be a little bit like, oh, am I going to actually invite people in? Yes, go for it. You have got this. Um, and then number 10 is add a little FOMO. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean, talk about the awesome things happening inside your group, outside of your group. So, for example, you could drop a little picture of you being live on your personal profile and you could say, we had the funniest conversation ever in the Facebook group this week, but shh, it's secret. And then you just have the group link, like, you know, like create a bit of FOMO, show people, drop hints, make it intriguing so that people are a bit like, oh, I need to be in this group. What is happening in this group? Like, let me let me hear it. I need to be there. So create a bit of FOMO. Um, I'm going to go through those briefly again because I've got lots of you saying, what was this number again? What was that number? So let me, let me go through it one more time for you. So number one, um, link your group to your business page. Number two, Promote your group on other social media platforms or profiles. So like your personal profile, your Instagram. Those of you who use Instagram, by the way, there's something called a link tree that you can add. It's free and it means that you can add your Facebook group link into your link tree. So that can work really well. Um, number three is link your website navigation if you have a website uh, to the group so people can find the group really easily. Number four is on the thank you page. If you have a funnel already, some of you, then on the thank you page of that funnel, have a link to your group. Um, number five is use as a PS on your emails or in your email signature. Number six is Use it as a call to action on post. So when you write a post, have it as a quick little simple call to action. Number seven is ask for the email address in the joining questions. So set up the joining questions in your group and grab their email address so you can start building an email list as well. Number eight is promote something exciting happening in your group using events so that people have to join the group in order to be able to be part of it. Number nine is use the invite button in your group, invite people in. And number 10 is create a bit of FOMO. Talk about all the fab things that are happening inside of your group, outside of your group, and invite people in. There's obviously so much more that I do teach about this in the academy, but I think this is a really good start for you right now. Um, let me have a little comment, look at the comments. Anne says, Linktree is amazing. Yes, it is. Linktree is awesome. Very helpful. Um, I've never noticed, oops, hang on. I've never noticed you can write a message when you invite someone to your group. Yes, you, you, you should be able to. One little aside that I don't know whether you're all aware of or not, but Although we're all using Facebook, did you know there are actually hundreds of different versions of Facebook? So Facebook are always testing what version works best. And that means sometimes one person can have a function on Facebook and another person doesn't. So there is a tiny chance that you might not have that. If you can't find it, don't think you're going crazy. It might be that you personally don't have it on the version that you're on. It might come into play later or, or at some other point. Um, thank you for all this, Claire, incredible information. You are super welcome. What if, um, 
your personal Facebook, most people speak two languages. Well, you can, you've got choices around that. So I've had numerous clients in the past who live outside of the UK. And so they quite often find that they're speaking in their like mother language and, and English. So you can, if you want to, you can copy, you can write it twice, right? You can write it in, in one language and then you can follow it in English. You could switch between the two languages. I would say, don't overthink it because remember very often depending uh what you're using like translations will pop up for people watching it so i would say don't worry too don't worry too much about it um you can make fully customized uh link tree style page in canva yes you can yes we've done that um buy your link website you can it's a little bit more complicated but absolutely um what else have we got uh, be careful with the invites if you don't get their email addresses then. Uh, yes, that's true. That's true, Melanie. However, there are other ways that you can then grab their emails once they're in the group, right? So you could create a second freebie that they have to give you the email for, for example. Um, but yeah, that, that is true. Um, Carol, include a link to your group and thank you page with freebies. Yes, and bootcamp. I think I've I think I've answered the questions here. Okay, so they are the 10 mini hacks to grow your group. Nice, simple, easy things to do that aren't gonna take you very long. Um, Sarah says, I registered for the masterclass, but not sure I got one of the places. You should have, so masterclass, let's talk about the masterclass just so you all know exactly what to expect. Uh, do please um, register for the masterclass. When you register, you should receive an email that has the link to the masterclass. You will also, get an email an hour before on, on Monday. So 9.30 Monday, you should receive another email with the link to the masterclass. If you have any problems and you find you haven't received that email at like 9.30, 10 o'clock on Monday, then um, message me here in the group and we'll make sure that we get that link to you. Um, so register for the masterclass, that's how you get the special Zoom link so that you can join Zoom at 10.30 live, um, you should get um, a little email that comes through Monday morning with the link to the masterclass. If you don't, if it's like 10 o'clock Monday morning and you haven't had the link, put something inside this group and we'll make sure that we get it to you because I don't want anyone missing out. If, as long as you registered for the masterclass, you'll also get the replay for the masterclass. Um, so that's happening Monday. It's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited to do that. In terms of the academy, uh, just to share with you, there are a couple of places if you want to have that bonus one-to-one -one with me on top of all the other bonuses, on top of the longer payment plan, on top of all the other incredible stuff that's going on in there and the like, and the early bird price and everything else, um, there is still chance. So now is the time to join. Um, you can also message me if you've got a question. We can have a quick chat if you're a bit on the fence or if you just want to make sure that it's uh, you know the right fit for you. Um, I would love. I would just love you to join the academy because I know how powerful it is. If you know you're ready to grow your business, you will get everything that you need in the academy in order to do that. Um, can I tell you how to register for the? masterclass yes you should have received the link on emails this week um but also i believe that there's a link in the group so if you just in this group if you scroll through you should be able to find it if not i'll pop another link in and i'll um attach it to the announcements to ensure that you can find that and you can sign up so tonight seven o'clock glass of wine celebration time um I sent you a message last night as really not sure, still on the fence, not sure if it's right for me. Husband says no. <laughs> I remember when my husband used to say that to me. Good job I didn't listen. Um, uh, Charlotte, so um, did I message you this morning? I'm not sure if I messaged you this morning, but I will. Let me let me find you, Charlotte, and we can have a chat. Um, we can have a chat. There we go. Okay, yeah, I will. I'll come and find you, Charlotte. Um, what was the other thing I was about to say? Yes, yeah, seven o'clock tonight, glass of wine. Let's celebrate. Um, and I'll answer any other questions you've got. Bring all the questions, all the questions that you've got from this week. If you're struggling with anything, if you need help with anything, it can be questions about the challenge. It can be questions about your group, about growing your business. And it can, of course, be questions about the academy as well, if you've got questions around that. Um, go and enjoy your day. I will see you later. Sending lots of love to you all. Mwah. Bye for now, everyone. Bye.